The hook I am using is a Daiichi 2220 in size 4. And the thread is UTC Ultra Thread 140 in brown. Give yourself a small space behind the eye to start your thread and build up a bit of a thread base. Now I am adding a lead painted dumbbell eye to the top of the hook. Use X wraps and under wraps to make sure the eyes are tied on tightly. To really ensure the eyes don't move, add a bit of super glue. Now bring your thread back to the bend of the hook. Grab a plume of brown marabou and tie it in on the end of the fly, extending out slightly shorter than the hook shank length. Clip off the waist at an angle to create a taper and tie it in tightly. Now grab a few rubber legs of varying colors and tie them in so they extend just shy of the marabou on both sides of the fly. Clip a bit of small sized gold wire and tie it in as well. And put it into your material clip to keep it out of the way. Pull a few strands of copper or gold crystal flash and tie them in on either side of the fly as well. You want them extending just past the marabou tail. Now clip a few inches of yellow or orange chenille and tie it in also. Then bring your thread up to just past the dumbbell eyes and proceed to make touching wraps with the chenille up the hook shank. When you reach the dumbbell eyes, wrap the chenille around the eyes. Then tie it in tightly. Measure a brown hackle feather, then strip off the unwanted feathers on the back. Tie it in on top of the fly, laying flat with the shiny side facing upward. Make two wraps with the hackle at the end of the fly, then proceed to palmer the hackle down the hook shank. When you reach the wire, capture the hackle with the wire. Then make counter wraps with the wire through the hackle. It helps to wiggle the wire back and forth to keep from trapping any of the hackle fibers. Once you reach the head, capture the wire with your thread and helicopter the wire right off. Stroke all the fibers rearward and make a few wraps at the head. Now measure out and cut a rabbit strip to extend about as long as the marabou tail. Then measure where the hide will rest on the hook and puncture the hide with your hook point. Then stroke all the hackle fibers downward and lay the rabbit zonker on top of them. Pull the end of the zonker tight and then tie it in just in front of the dumbbell eyes. Clip off the waist and clean up the head with a few wraps. Clip a bit more crystal flash and tie it in on both sides of the fly. Now you can whip finish your fly and clip off the tip of the hackle. To make the fly more durable, I like adding a bit of bone dry UV curing resin made by Solarez. 
Just paint it on the head of the fly with the built-in brush applicator. Then zap it with your UV light for a few seconds. I like it because it cures quickly and without any tackiness. And it'll also keep the fly from coming apart after a few hard hits from fish. And now your fly is finished. The fly does resemble a crayfish pretty well, especially when sitting on the bottom. It looks like the claw is up in a defensive stance. Also, it moves really nicely when jerked quickly off the bottom, just like a crayfish would do when fleeing a predator. I have put a list of all the materials used today in the description section, with links to where you can buy them at the best prices I could find. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like this sort of thing, please subscribe. Leave your questions in the comment section, and I will do my best to respond as quickly as possible. Now you guys, go give this fly a try and catch some fish.